is the Cornerman Radio Live with Barzini and Box and I. We're back. We're, b- well, we're back like Mace. <laughs> Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. Saddam Ali versus Liam Smith. I'm going to let you start it off. Um, cool. What you got to say? Yeah, man. I feel like, you know, Oscar is probably, you know, Saddam Ali. He'll take the holiday off, obviously. And when they come sit at the table, his people, <laughs> the whole, everybody out there, you know, maybe people don't know the politics, but Jared Hurd, Laura, and Jamel Charlo are just whole, they're, they're in a whole other universe that Saddam Ali will never fly to <laughs> or go to. You know what I mean? His spaceship is here on HBO, and Oscar's going to, you know, want to protect him. Maybe he has a, he's going to create a plan for him. He's got another champion, and Oscar don't have too many champions like that. So Liam Smith, that's a good fight. You know, that's a tough fight. That's a, another fight Ali can probably develop some more skill set, you know. He, he obviously learned a lot in the Jesse Vargas fight. That was a question, you know. He went back, watched that tape. He's a young fighter. He got knocked out, and he came back and looked good. You know, there was some things that happened in the Cotto fight, you know, but we got to see him another time out, and Liam Smith is that perfect opponent to see him out against. You know, we get Liam Smith against Canelo. Now you get Saddam Ali versus Canelo. Let's see how he does. I think Saddam Ali can win a, by, you know, his, his side-to-side movement. He's, he's got to be a cautious fighter because he doesn't have an iron chin. Um, he doesn't have a bad chin, but he doesn't have an iron chin. So use his jab, use his reach. Liam Smith is a good fighter, so I, I expect that to be a good fight. I, I'm curious where it's going to be held. You know, uh, Saddam deserves another a good, pay, a decent paycheck for that fight. You know, that's his mandatory. That that's a fight that makes sense for Saddam Ali and his people, and that's probably what they want and what they're going to do. And honestly, I don't see another option. At the moment, you know, down the road, yeah, doors are going to open up for him. But at the moment, I think Liam Smith is his number one option. What, what about you, man? Well, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I've am i been so suspicious about this Cotto win. You know what I mean? I feel like it was rigged from the gate. I, I, I just still don't believe Saddam Ali won it fair and square. You know what I'm saying? Cotto probably didn't train for this fight. Or I just don't understand. I can't understand this phantom, this win. But Liam Smith is his mandatory. So Frank Warren and Dela Hoya just made David Lemieux and Billy Joe Saunders. So it's, it's an easy fight to be made, plus it's his mandatory. So let's see. Yeah. Uh, I... To me, to be honest with you, I still I I haven't really seen Liam Smith ever fight before, but I still can't see Saddam Ali beating Liam Smith. Maybe I'm wrong, cause I've never watched Liam Smith really watch a full fight with him. But at the end of the day, is I just don't believe in Saddam Ali at all, at all. I think he's got good skills. He he got good boxing skills, but when you lose, when you get knocked out by a guy with seven knockouts, like a guy like Jesse Vargas, who is yeah, but Jesse Vargas really was a one on point that night. Yeah, but he's a one forty fighter. He didn't even do much at one forty. Who did he beat at one forty? He got yeah, a but he given carried, belt. Yeah. I, just, I mean, I, he didn't I, I look, look good at, at 140, but he's looked better at 147. Sometimes these guys are fighting yeah. in weight classes, draining their legs, and they're not, and and they should be fighting in a, a weight class above where they actually got power. You know, it's, it's that's a thing that that you try to get advantage, but sometimes it becomes a disadvantage. You don't even realize it. Saying he want his team want to go back to 147, so evidently options. he's not really. 
he he's not really a one fifty four fighter. You know, he what looked man? good. So he think, was hurt in Cotto at one fifty four. You know. And he's fast at one fifty four. Okay. So now Mali's main advantages at one fifty four are he's his he's got elite speed at one fifty four. His speed at one forty seven is very good. But at one fifty four it's elite, you know what I mean? It's, so he's got a speed advantage up there. So the, his team gotta work that out, you know. Boxing eyes figure out what they want to do. too much credit. Uh, it's just all fucking bullshit. <laughs>